Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will enhance CDS view entity which we have created in our last video. We will get the data from the different different data sources. I mean different different tables will do the we will use join in our CDS view entity and we will get the data and we will try to display the data in the data preview. Not only that, we will learn how to use literals in our field list and at last we will call this particular CDSU entity one of the, our ABAP program and we will do the data display there. Let's get started. We have created one defined view entity in our last video. So let me improvise some, let me add more field instead of getting data from the one field, get data from the multiple data sources. So this is of now you can see the data source is the VBA came. So this data source can be either is of now I'm using any database table. It can be any CDSU entity as well. Uh, we can get the data from another CDSU. Uh, it can be CDS table function as well, which we will going to use. Uh, we, we will going to learn in upcoming video. It can be CDS hierarchy or any other CDS DDIC based view as well. So as of now I am using normal database tables only so from here it's nothing just a select statement so we in our throughout the our video course we have learned the what all are the sql enhancement done in abap on hana so we can leverage the hana database capabilities so this is not Nothing much more than I can say it's a select statement only. Let me get some more uh, more data and let me get uh, face the data from more tables. So it's a select from VBAK. Uh, I want to not only get data from the VBAK, I want to get from the VBAP as well. So I, I, what I will do, I will do the inner joins since the sales order header table and sales order item table is having the sales order number is common. So what I will do, I will get from VBAK, then I will do inner join. It's, it's a normal join which we use like in our select statement. Inner join with VBAP and simply if you are doing the inner join, we have to give some on conditions. On VBAK dot VBELN. So here we have to use dot instead of the tilde operator. That's a one change, little bit, little bit change, not much change from the select statement instead of using tilde operator we have to use dot equal to vbap dot vb eln so i did the so let me clear out this one let me get the key field as a vb eln only so vbak dot vb eln if you want to give alias name Alias name means if you want to change the description currently it is sales order if you VBAK VBLN if you want to give some other description that also you can give as SO oh, that means sales order and I want to get the data some other data from the VBAK table dot uh, let me get some VKORZ control space here also work so we can get the VKORZ is sales oak oak or you don't want to give alias name that is also fine uh, vbak dot vk zrp i don't want to give here vk i want to get the some data from vbap also vbap dot posner and vbap dot matner matner so this data, some of the data we got from the VBAK table, some of the data we got from the VBAP table. If I want to put where condition, that also I can put where VBLN. Let me get uh, execute this uh, particular uh, select statement and get the data, what data I'm getting. Let me activate this one, control F3. And let me do the F8 to preview this data so either i can do f8 or right click over here and i can see open with data preview also i can do it will be data will be previewed here so you can see since i have changed the vbln name to so 
using Ali Elias name. Let me open it pal Ali so we can visualize easily easily. So that is the reason now Elias name is coming here instead of the name of VBLN and VKRZ. But I didn't change here Elias name. That is the reason it's came like directly VK group Posner and Matner. So you can see these are the sales order name. Control C. Now I what I want to do? I want to put some where condition as well. So to just to see how it will work. So it will be simpler just after the field list you have to give the where condition VBAK dot VBLN equal to I want to get the data for this particular sales order only. So as you can see this is the normal select statement only which we have discussed in one of the our first video of the open SQL announcement. So the in this normal select statement what we were doing select from VBAK then we are putting inner join here instead of this curly bracket we were using the field list and where condition as usual and at last we were doing into this some internal table we had we were taking the data so into internal table is missing and apart from thing uh, uh, apart from that thing that fill, instead of field list we are using the field fields keyword we are using the this uh, curly bracket to get all the field list so this is the normal select statement i can say so whatever we can do on the normal select statement most of the things we can do here as well for example, we can do the arithmetical operations. Let me get some of the literals also I can get. Let me get some of the literal as well. 0 0.23 is num literal. But whenever we are using literal, the alias name is, uh, what we are giving is alias name is mandatory. Let me get one uh, constant literal, literal also. If you want to know about literals, you can watch out my uh, literal video on SQL open and enhancement there I have explained very well what is literal and what is constant and what is the difference between them and so suppose I want to then CDS or something I can display on this literal is character literal and let me activate this one control F3 and let me rephrase the data there there is refresh option option is there control f3 and the refresh or i can do data preview again not an issue f8 so you can see i got additional data and where condition also applied i got the data from only the only for the sales order number six and I got numerical literal also 0.23 and uh, character literal also I got data like that I can get the data from this particular select statement so as I told you we can do the aggregations if you don't uh, don't know about what all are the things we can do on the select statement you can watch out this uh, tutorials uh, I can say this tutorial series on HANA where I have explained like that I, I explained normal uh, SQL state normal select statement select a statement with the literal arithmetical expression different kind of sum uh, every's and those kind of thing aggregate expression group by how we can use and string operations, case statement, call esq function, host expression, these all are the things whatever we are doing, most of the things we can do in our select statement. We will try to explain here as well why, how we can use those things here as well. But for the just the namesake because there I explained in deta detail already all the things, whatever we were doing there, all the things we can apply here as well. This is the one thing. Now I have created the CDS view. I just want to use the CDS view in our CDS view entity specifically in one of the our program. I want to get a free, instead of getting the data VBAK and VBAP since I have created this data model. I want to get the data di di directly data from the data model itself or CDS view entity. One more important thing I didn't use here alias name for the our database table. I, if I want to use I can use as a A and instead of using uh, uh, or I can tell the SO 
header this is one of the another variant uh, not another variant if you want to use uh, some give some meaningful name instead of header and item you can give like this control v control v control v control v control v and control v sorry item data control c control v and control v and same goes with here control v so just i have given the alias name that there is not nothing much difference so that alias name whatever i have given that i am using some meaning meaningful name to tell if you are not understanding with the table name then we can it is a header table and it is the line item table header underscore so also i can write whatever whatever you want to write that you can write control c control control f3 so let me call this particular cdsu in one of the select statement so i have to create one program obviously uh, let me create one program uh, in this in this package itself which i am currently using new abap program other repository object and you have to search for program abap program uh, i can give any name g underscore cds consumption or anything i can you if you whatever name you want to give you can give you have to click on next button give some appropriate tr and click on finish button it will create normal abap program so this is i can say this is normal abap program now what i will do instead instead of getting the data uh, writing select statement on vbak and vbap like uh, we have created you can assume like that we have created one view database view and we are calling that database view instead of uh, hitting those different different table directly i am calling from the database view and getting the data it's work like this only but it is much powerful than the database view as we have already have seen in um, in our previous videos so let me get data from here so normal select statement how we like how we write select from why it's a select from which inst i have to use this cds entity select from this particular cds entity from uh, and uh, fields i can tell uh, instead of getting all the fields i can get the so comma cell sog control c control v or i can say vk group grp these are the fields i want to get select from this fields into inline declaration into table at the rate data it underscore table i did inline declaration and if again i will use one of my template it's a very useful if size of is initial what i need to do obviously i want to preview this data so cl underscore demo underscore output like we usually do i just call this uh, output display method or shift enter in the display method i can pass this table control c control v it table shift f1 control f3 let me do f9 this So you can see I go data for particular cell sog and 1703. I think it's uh, almost uh, uh, let me get data. Only VK group I, ha I have got. I didn't get all the data. Instead of fill list, I can 
till I want to get all the data. Is it giving any error over here? No. Control F3. And clear out the console. And let me do F9. So I got all the data. I got the literal value, VK group, Posner, and whatever the data is over there, all the data I have got and I have displayed in the like that, like a simple database table, we can use a CDS entity as a, our data source when we are writing the select statement. But one more thing, as I told you, uh, this is no nothing much difference when we see that select from the field list, as I told you, select from instead of field list, we were displaying this, this we are giving the field list in the our uh, uh, curly bracket and where condition also we were putting and here we don't have any into close we are just directly doing the data preview one most important thing if i try to use instead of this all the things if i try to use here is star i want to get all the data but in the define view entity it is not supported the select uh, all can't be used in the defined view entity but if I want to use the select all in the DDIC based CDS view that I can do. That is again one of the difference I might have missed in my last video. Uh, you, if you want to use DDIC based view, if I want instead of getting the, this is the basically DDIC based view which we have discussed in our power previous video. If I want to get uh, instead of single field, I want to get all the fields. Uh, this uh, again one more correction I want to do. Last video I called this as a filled list it's not filled list it's a name list we call name list which is not supported in our uh, view entity uh, this is the name list and this is the filled list whatever we are defining inside the curly bracket this is name list which is uh, which is now not supported in the view entity but the name list is supported in the our ddic based view same way the select all also supported now i want to remove this name list and one more error I'm getting uh, might be the buffering related error. I will just comment it out. Control C plus then I don't want to buffer the data. Let me see. You can see I'm not getting any error now. But if you use select all in the CDS entity, this view entity, then you will you will not able to use select all inside this. Select all is not supported for this defined view entity, but it is supported for the DDIC based view. And one as I told you last will uh last video the filled list is uh, not filled list name list again i'm repeating this is the filled list and whatever we are using here control z control z whatever we are using after this alias name that is called the name list and control z and this is our filled list so name list also not supported in the view entity means what we can say this DD, which is views which is not based on the ddic in this video, we have learned about normal CDS view entity syntax, how to create the CDS view entity with the basic example and we have called that CDS view entity in one of the our program. In my next video, we will create one parameterized CDS and we will try to call that parameterized CDS in one of the our program. Before going to that video, please like this video, subscribe this channel. With that, thank you and happy learning.